Hello friends. So once again I welcome you to my channel and in this video we are going to continue with the numericals on associative and set, associ uh, set associative and associative mapped gas. Right. So Hello friends. So once again I welcome you to my channel. Hope you are doing good and you are watching my videos. So till now we have seen so, uh, the three mapping techniques that is direct map, associative map and set associative map cats. And we have solved some numericals on direct map as well as associative and set associative. Here in this video we will continue with the same. That means we are going to solve some numericals only. So the numeric because as much numericals will solve our concepts will become clear. So it is given that consider a fully associative cache. That means any block of main memory can occupy any position in the cache provided it is empty. So a fully associative cache of size what 256 KB and the block size of 1 KB is given and there are 18 bits in the tag field and they are asking us the size of main memory and the size of the tag directory, right? So it's very simple. So see, first what I will do, I will find out the word field. The memory is byte addressable, block size is 1 KB. So 1 KB, you express it in powers of 2, that is 2 to the power 10 bytes. So word field will be 10 bits. And then next we'll find out the number of blocks in the cache. If the total cache size is given, from there we can find out the cache num number of blocks in the cache. What I will do, that size of the cache memory will divide by block size. It is given 256 kilobyte. So 256 kilobyte divided by block size that is 1 KB. So it will be nothing but 256 that is 2 to the power 8 only. Whatever number comes up we need to express it in powers of 2. 8 bits are required to represent a block number in the cache. Right. Then next is tag, fields, uh, tag bits are 18 bits. Right. Then actually see the number of blocks in the cache is not required in our addressing. Right. Main memory to find the main memory size right so see the number of tag bits is 18 total address length is what tag bits and the word field length right because in case of associative map we do not have a particular block or a do not particular set so only tag bits and your word field will be there in the total address so we know now our tag field and we know our word field so it will be giving us what 28 bits as the address length if I know my address length, my machine is byte addressable, I can easily find out the size of main memory. What it will be? 2 to the power 28 bytes. So 2 to the power 20 is nothing but what? Um, mega and 8 is what? 256. So main memory size is 256 megabyte. Why byte? Because machine is byte addressable. Done. Next is tag directory. So to find the tag directory, we require number of blocks in the cache. Because of that, we have find out this particular quantity. So tag directory size will be what? Each block will be having a tag, right? So how many blocks are there? 2 to the power 8 blocks are there. And what is the size of tag field? It is already given in the question. That is 18 bits. So if we multiply both, we will get the size of tag directory. So see, this much size we are not using for storing our instruction and data. This is... Uh, uh, this particular data is something called as metadata. It is giving us some information about our data, right? It is helping us in address matching. So size of the tag directory is number of blocks in the cache divide, sorry, into number of bits in the tag field. It is 256 into 8. So I can directly write 256 bytes. So hope you have understood this numerical. Next we'll move to the next video, uh, numerical. It is given that consider a fully associative map cache with block size 4 KB. 4 KB means what? See, looking at the number, now you should be able to express it in powers of 2. You should be that much familiar with the numbers. This K, 4, 8, 256, mega, giga. So, kilo means what? 10, 4 means what? 2 to the power 2. So, it will be what? 2 to the power 12, right? So, size of the main memory is 16 GB. They have given the total length. So they are asking us the tag field. Very simple. See, in case of fully associative, our address consists of two components. What are those? Tag and word. So looking at this, I know my word field. What is that? 12 bits. Just now I told you, 12 bits. And total length is 16. See, main memory size is 16 GB. 
so there we have find out the bits and found the size now size is given we can find the bits you express this in powers of 2 that is 2 to the power 4 d is 2 to the power 30 total length will be 34 so 34 minus 12 is going to give you what your tax bill length that's all only in this numerical very simple see simple simple but we need to practice them once right so memory is byte addressable block size is this one so number of bits in the word field is 12 bits done then the size of the main memory is 16 gb that is 2 to the power 34 bytes where from i'm getting it d means 30 16 means 4 so 30 plus 4 is 34 together i have written because we have solved so many numericals till now here 4 kb 4 means 2 to the power 2 k means 10 together it is 12 right so hence our main memory address will be having 34 bits right then what we know in case of fully associative cache main memory address equal to what tag field plus what field so if i'll get that if i want to get the tag bits it will be total address minus word length means whatever is the word field length that is 34 minus 12 that is 22 bits this is number of bits for one tag field right so answer is 22 bits hope this one is also clear see all the numericals are of same kind we need to just see to solve these numericals our concept on mapping need to be clear another point is looking at the number we should know what will be the exponent because mostly numbers are given in powers of two so easily we can decide that next is one more beautiful question is there see a computer has eight gigabyte memory that means they are talking about my main memory with 64 bit word size right each block of memory stores 16 words right the computer has a direct map cache now we are mixing the numerical the computer has a direct map cache of 128 blocks computer uses word level addressing that we can see what is the address format so first we'll solve this part excuse me <coughs> what is the address format so total address length will be what 8 gigabyte right giga means 30 8 means 3 so my main memory address consists of 33 bits this is clear now block field see each block of memory stores 16 words 16 word means what uh, to get one word inside a block we require four bits where from this 16 you express in powers of two exponent is your word field length so memory is word addressable block size is 16 words express it in powers of two my exponent is the length of my word field this part is done now see they have given directly that in the cache memory 128 blocks are there so just simply express it in powers of two that will give me the uh, that uh, block field in my main memory address so size of the main memory is uh, 8 gigabyte so it is 2 to the power 33 hence the number of bits in the memory address is 33 then another point number of blocks in the cache is 128 that is 2 to the power 7 so number of bits in the block field will be 7 bits total main memory address is 33 bits and that will be divided into three parts what are those word field that is 4 bit next is block field because i am talking about direct map cache so i have a direct one particular block mapped for my address i so word address will be word field will be 4 bits then block field will be 7 bits this 7 is coming from here right then next is tag field i can easily find out 33 minus 4 plus 7 will give me what my tag field so this is the answer for this particular first part address format next is they have said we are changing the cache to a four-way set associative then what is the new address format then in the new address what is going to change instead of block field it will be set field here number of bits in the tag field is also going to change so we'll see <coughs> they have said it is four way set associative right so already the word field is four bits that it will remain the same cache is same the block size is not going to change main memory is 8 gb total address is 33 bits now see number of blocks in the cache is what 2 to the power 7 this is number of blocks now these blocks are divided into sets of four four blocks right means one set consists of four blocks 
so total is 128 so how many sets i can form 128 divided by 4 that is number of blocks divided by way number is going to give me my number of sets in the cache so number of sets in the cache will be 2 to the power 7 by 4 is what 2 to the power 5 please do not raise this 4 to the powers of 2 right this is directly 4 this 4 is 2 to the power 2 because of that it is 2 to the power 5 Understood. Set field is five bit in length, right? So main memory address thirty three. So what field is uh, your? What field is four bits? Set field is five bits. We can easily tell what is the length of our tag field. What is that? Thirty three minus four plus five is your twenty four bits. Hope this numerical is also clear. These numericals are pretty simple. Only we need to know the concept and the concept of my powers of 2 if that is clear we can easily solve them and that too very quickly also then the next one i am coming is this one right see a two way set associative cache with memory uses four words right cache can have a total of 2048 words from main memory that means from main memory i can accommodate this many words in the cache the main memory size is 128k by 32 that means in each location 32 bits are there draw the format of main memory address that means the length what it will be 128k we can easily find out 128k 2 to the power 7 2 to the power 10 that means what 17 bits will be my main memory address it will consist of three components what are those tag set and word because why because this is two way set associative it is set associative cache because of that tag set and what field will be there understood so now we'll solve it memory is word addressable block size is four words that means what field consist of two bits then the size of the main memory is 128k by 32 this means 2 to the power 17 number of words are there hence 17 bits will be there in the address where from i am getting this 17 This is seven, and this part is ten. So it is two to the power seventeen. <coughs> Excuse me. The number of blocks in the cache. How can I find out number of words divided by block size? That is what number of words they have said. Two zero four eight. Two zero four eight is nothing but two into one zero two four. One zero two four. We used to say it was two to the power ten. Two is what two to the power one. So it becomes what two to the power eleven. So I've directly written two to the power eleven. Where from it is coming from this two zero four eight by block size. Block size is what two to the power two. It is already said now this one. So number of blocks in the cache is two to the power nine. That is five one two. This is number of blocks. Next we need to find out number of sets. So it is already said they are grouping these blocks into sets of two two blocks. So how many sets I can form? Two to the power nine by what? The way number. What is that? Two. So number of sets will be two to the power nine by two. Will give me what? Two to the power eight. So eight bits are required to represent a set in the cache memory. Main memory address total already we have found out that is seventeen bits. In seventeen bits, the lower order two bits will give you what field? Then the next Set field using eight bits. Now quickly we can find out the tag field. What will be that? Seventeen minus eight plus two, right? That is seven bits. So we have got the main memory address format consisting of these three fields. This we have seen. Next they have asked us size of the uh, cache with tag bits. Size of the cache with tag bits will be number of blocks in the cache. Divided into number of tag bits and the block size, because this part is storing data or instruction, and this part is storing the metadata. Together, you put all the values. Two to the power nine is the number of blocks. Seven bits tag, four words in a block. So it is coming is coming up as this many words. So this much is there in this video. Thank you. And in next video, I am going to again discuss some numericals. Thank you.